Oh, crystal ball, what kind of projects are we going to do today? <clears throat> Edgar Allan, was that you? Yeah, that was, it was me. You know what? I kind of like that idea. Hi everybody, this is Nelly from Diamond Tech and welcome to my Crafty Corner. Today is a special video. We are celebrating Halloween, as you can tell, my favorite holiday. And I'm gonna teach you guys how to mosaic a pumpkin. It's gonna be a great, great focal piece in your house or in the front porch. And people are gonna be amazed that you did it on your own. And it's a super, super easy process. We also have a friendly kid version that I'm gonna show you guys that is super, super easy. So let's get to it. Here's what you'll need for this project. Ugh. Seriously? Whatever, Edgar Allen. You know that was a cool trick. The first thing you will need is an artificial carving pumpkin. These are meant to be carved into, they're hollow inside, they're made out of styrofoam, and you can get these at your local hobby store. Don't use a real pumpkin. That's gonna be a big mess when that thing, like, decomposes. No, you don't wanna deal with that. <laughs> Then you, what you will need is your tile of choice. We are going to use for this project Venetian tile. These are three quarter sizes and we're gonna cut them up into random pieces. Or you can also use some crafter cut tiles or some cobblestone tiles, any kind of color you want. You can do any kind of pattern or design that your heart desires. You will also need a wheeled glass nipper. These are to cut your tile in random shapes. To glue your tile, you will use mosaic mercantile glue or you can use an E6000 glue. You will also need an X-Acto knife. This is good for carving your designs if you want to carve a design in your pumpkin. You will also need grout. I have two options of grout here for you. We have pre-mixed grout made from mosaic mercantile. It's already mixed for you, it's like in a putty substance, and this comes in also black and white. Or you can use sanded grout, which also comes in either black or white. If you want to change the color of your grout, there's an option for you. We have colorants, and these come in multiple colors. You can have blue, purple, red, yellow, the options are endless. Just take a spoonful and mix it in and use as much or as little as you want. You need an empty bucket. This is a great kit. This kit comes with all the tools you will need to start grouting. This kit, Mosaic Elements, comes with a bucket, which is great for mixing grout in, a measuring cup, a stirring stick, a sponge, protective eyewear, and grout spreader. It is all included in this kit. It is a great, great buy. If you would like, you can also have paint and a paintbrush to paint on the inside of your pumpkin if you carved a design. And for safety reasons, you will need a face mask and gloves. The first thing I did was I covered my surface with paper to protect it. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut our tile. I have the three quarter Venetian tile. And this is the top surface and this is the back surface that will be applied down to the pumpkin. What we're going to be using is the wheeled glass snippers and these cut really easily into glass and tile. First thing you want to do though is wear your protective eye gear. When you cut into tile or glass, these fly. So you want to protect your eyes. So I'm just going to put them on. I know I look silly. And then you're going to grab your tile and however you want to do it, just do it randomly or you can do it in a specific shape. But for right now, to show you, I'm gonna cut it right in half, just like that. And then I'm going to kind of cover it to make sure it doesn't fly away and hit something or somebody. Or you can do it into like a bucket or a cup. But I'm just gonna hold it right now so it doesn't fly around and just like that. That's simple, you guys. It cuts so smoothly with the wheeled um, glass nipper. You can cut smaller triangles, put it in there, all kinds of shapes. And just keep going and going and going. This project for this pumpkin will take like around eight ounces to 16 ounces of 
tile, depending on how big your pumpkin is. For this pumpkin, I think like 16 ounces of tile is good. So I think that's enough to start right now. So I'm gonna push this aside and I can remove my goofy glasses. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue the tile to our pumpkin. So you can glue it however you'd like. You can random, which is what I'm gonna do, or you can just do a pattern if you want to. I'm just gonna grab a piece of tile, put some glue on the back, on the rigid part, and then I'm just gonna place it somewhere on my pumpkin. So you can do it this way, or you can just cover a section with glue and then just start doing it like that. However you'd like to do it, it's up to you. Hmm. Well, the glue will take up to two to three hours to dry. After that, we can mix our grout and apply. Not bad. Now we are done gluing all of our tile to our pumpkin. Beautiful. And now we are going to apply the grout. So let's get our safety gear on. Because I don't know exactly, exactly, exactly how much will cover this pumpkin, we're just gonna go like one cup at a time. So I'm gonna open this black sanded grout. Whoopa! There we go. I'm gonna use my Diamond Tech Mosaic Elements bucket. Now if you guys have white cement, don't forget, after you're done mixing with water, you can add your, your colorant in there to make different colors. So I put like three quarter cups in there for right now. That's a good start. Now we're gonna pour some water. And a little bit of water goes a long way. And what you're aiming for, it's like a peanut butter, fudgy like consistency. That's kind of the texture we're going for. You know, it's smooth. It's a little peanut buttery, a little fudgy. Now we're going to apply the grout to our pumpkin. Some people like to grab their stick and you know put it on, but I think the easiest part is just scooping it out with your hands, getting a good amount, and then literally just put it on there. Make sure you push it in really good in all of those like crevices in there between the tile and spread it out nice and evenly. Don't worry about the I mean, the grout covering the tile because after we're done um, applying the grout, we're gonna wait about 15 minutes and then with a damp sponge, we're going to remove the grout from just a little warning, when rubbing the grout into the tile, um, it could, the sharp edges of the tile could, you know, cut your glove open and you can get some grout on your actual hands and you could probably also cut yourself. Just a fair warning to um, take it slow and just take your time. Just give it another 15 to 20 minutes to dry and then we will move on to the next step. After we let it chill or, you know, hang out here for 15 to 20 minutes, we're going to go with a damp sponge and we're going to wipe some of the excess grout that's on top of the tile so that we can see the orange tile. I have a bucket of water. Also, this is the same bucket I used that had the grout inside. Just a disclaimer, do not dump grout down the sink, flush it down the toilet. It could do some serious damage. Get, some, get the excess out throw it in the trash can, and then hose down the bucket. You don't want to ruin your plumbing with this stuff. So let's see. I can already tell this is going to look really, really cool, you guys. So this is what I've done so far on this first try. Um, what I like to do is every 30 minutes or 15 minutes, I come back with the wet sponge, go over it a little bit again until it looks a little bit cleaner. After that, this will take up to 24 hours to dry completely. And then when that is all good and done, you can come with your paint and you can get like like the bottom here and like repaint, you know, paint the bottom. So the color of the grout, like I would paint this black. Um, 
and then you are done. If you're looking for a kid-friendly version of this project, I did do this pumpkin already. Um, it's a smaller, smaller pumpkin, and we use um, these crafters cuts or cobblestone tiles. They are safe for kids because they're already cut, they're smooth, there's no sharp edges, these are ready to go. And we use pre-mixed grout, so this is not, you don't have to mix anything, add water, add grout, it's already mixed for you here, and this does come in black and white. Before I started the project, I did freehand a little pumpkin face. You can use like one of your favorite templates to draw onto the pumpkin. And then I carved it out with an X-Acto knife. Parents, you do this for your kids. Want your kids do this. And then after that, I applied the tile. I applied the grout. I let it dry. And then I painted the eyes and the nose and the mouth on the inside with black paint to match the grout. And then also, we carved the bottom to create a hole and we also painted it so that we can insert an LED candle. Do not put a real flame candle in this because that is very unsafe. And there you go. Yay, now you guys finished this great work of art. I had so much fun teaching you guys how to do this. With the techniques that I've taught you, you can mosaic almost anything from a vase to a bowl, maybe even some boring Halloween decorations. Isn't that right, Edgar Allen? Say what? Give me a little bit of tile right Ugh, there. Give me a break. Perfect. <laughs> Not cool. We will be posting beautiful pictures and instructions for you on DiamondTechCrafts.com, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. If you don't follow us on those sites right now, please make sure to do so. If you created your own festive project, please share it with us on social media and use the hashtag CraftyCorner. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching. I had a really fun time doing this. Happy Halloween. Bye.